All right, three stages to getting to eight figures. That's $10 million. That's what we're gonna be covering today. So we're gonna go over what it looks like to build an eight-figure company, an eight-figure business, and the exact steps to get there. So what we're gonna cover is kind of the, the typical model that I've seen work for the businesses that I've been a part of and the businesses that I have coached. So this is based on kind of the step-by-step -step process for how I got my business from zero to $10 million in about three years and then sold that for eight figures. And also I've, I've helped a handful of students get to that eight figure, that $10 million mark, and then either sell or build on from there. I would love to be showing you the $100 million model. Unfortunately, I have not yet built a $100 million business, working on it, I'll keep you posted, but I have built an eight-figure business, a couple eight-figure businesses, and I've helped a, a, a handful of students get to that level. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start at the beginning. For those of you who need the seven-figure model, we're gonna talk about how to scale into the multi-millions, and then we're gonna talk about getting to eight figures because ultimately you wanna have a big impactful company that you can sell so that you can have whatever type of life that you want once you exit that business and invest for passive income. So that's what we're gonna go into. Also, you should note these aren't necessarily in order. You can do these out of order, but the, the businesses that I've seen that do go to eight figures have followed step one, then step two, then step three, or, or stage one, stage two, stage three. They've all kind of followed that same model. So you can get these out of order, and we'll talk about that but most of the ones that I've seen have followed this. So there is basically, I'm just gonna make a pyramid here because I'm in the Illuminati. And this foundational, the base of any business, this is where you're gonna hit seven figures. And I have a, a video that's on YouTube that has been seen by a couple million people and this, this video lays out the stages of going from zero to seven figures and it usually takes about 12 months if you follow the strategy that I've laid out in that video. I also have some cheat sheets and some playbooks that we give away for free that walk you through these steps but they tend to be the, the same steps to getting to seven figures and it looks like this, it is three to five products, three to five products selling about 20 to 30 sales per day. I'm gonna put times 20 to 30 sales per day. And if you run that math, three to five products doing 20 to 30 sales a day, that's about 100 sales a day, which at a price point of 25 to $30, you've got about a million dollar per year business. Now, how do we get there? The, the way that we achieve this seven figure point of having three to five products is by launching three to five products to one specific type of person. So for example, this is a, kind of a really simple brand. This is, uh, Actually, this is not the brand that I thought it was. This is from a store called, uh, is it the, the, the Trash Free Store or something? So it's basically the market for this, this business. This is a recyclable, compostable coffee cup. That is a very specific market of, that, that is for a, a waste-free, no trash, uh, what we call it zero waste living person. So. The person who is buying this is probably also going to buy a lot of other products that are waste free. Or if you are just a coffee company, you're going to have coffee mugs, you're gonna have ground coffee, you're going to have coffee creams, you're gonna have three to five products to a very specific target market. So if your market is teachers, one of your products might be markers, another might be sticky notes, another might be other things that teachers buy, whatever, whatever that is. So a, an easy kind of hack for this is if you, if you are the target market, it's pretty
pretty easy to walk around your house and be like, uh, what did I buy on Amazon this week? Let's see, I go to the gym a lot and I bought a weight belt and I bought protein powder and I bought some bands and I bought some creatine and I bought, uh, I bought a, 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 a total gym, right? So these, these are all things that are going to end up being to a very specific target market. Too many people will just be like, ah, I need a good product to sell. Who's the person that you're marketing to? Because if we know that, it's really easy for us to identify those three to five products that we can sell to. And the important thing here is, so this piece, this is like, this is the mystery. How do we get to 20 to 30 sales per day? And the answer, me, the answer is that we need a predictable sales model to get our three to five products out to them. Now, my experience, like today, the best opportunity is to take those products and list them on amazon.com to get your reviews up and to get in front of the ideal customer on something like Facebook or Instagram or influencers or email lists or blogs or giving away product until this hits. And then you release product two and product three and product four. So it right now, the best opportunity is amazon.com. Do you have to use amazon.com? No. People like my buddy Russell Brunson do, does the exact same process all with funnels, meaning simple pages where you hit the page, then there's an order, you're driving traffic to the page, collecting the order, sending them to your other products. That's fine too. The question is, what is your predictable sales model for being able to release three to five products and to be able to work that until you have 20 to 30 sales per day per product. If you don't know what that is, I suggest starting with amazon.com because that's what the vast majority of our successful students have used. That is step one. This process takes about 12 months for most people. Most people, it takes about 12 months. Now, I've seen it done faster. For example, we have students who have hit the million dollar mark or have been pacing a million dollars in as little as 90 days. I've seen a couple people do it even faster than that. But that's not your typical person. Your typical person is gonna take three months to release their product, get those first like 50 to 100 reviews, then release product number two, by six months, you've got three products. You take the next six months to grind your way to 20 to 30 sales a day. And you're by month six, you're like, is this ever going to work? And then month eight, you hit 50K a month. And these are just fantasy numbers I'm making up. But I've seen that kind of the typical person follow this process, putting in the work, getting to that million dollar run rate, which is about $80,000 a month in about 12 months. So that is, that's the first stage to getting to $10 million, assuming that is your goal. The second stage is your audience. Now, I told you before that we could do these out of order. For example, I love, I love working with bloggers, Instagrammers, YouTubers who have 100,000 followers who already have an audience because I can plug in these three to five products and blam, have a million dollar business very, very quickly. So by the way, if you've got an audience of 100,000 people, call Uncle Ryan because you are sitting on a million dollar business and we can, we can milk that sucker for a million dollar business. So. I love working with people who already have the audience because we're at step two and we can plug in step one like that. But for most people who are, they, they just want to have a business, they're starting off with the person. They're starting off with the, the person that they're targeting, releasing those three to five products to that person, and then they're going out and they're building the audience around that person. So they're now they're going out and they're, they're, they're driving Facebook ads to a page and it's all, for example, I had a, a business 
called Zen Active Sports. It was a yoga products business, and we sold yoga blocks, yoga towels, yoga mats. So what we did is we drove Facebook ads to a page called I Love Yoga, pretty darn simple. And when we had 3,000 to 5,000 people, that's when we started releasing products to them. And we kept doing that. You know, We had the three to five products, blocks, towels, mats. We kept selling those products and we brought more of that profit into advertising for our audience. So we started building an email list. We started building a YouTube following. We started building, uh, I think we even had a podcast at one point. So we started building the audience so that we could continue to launch more products in the first stage of the process. So if, if you get out of order, and you have the audience first, your job is to release products as quickly as possible to this audience. If you don't have an audience and you are releasing products and they're selling, what you do next is it's your job to turn these buyers into audience followers. You know who does this really well is Quest Nutrition. Quest Nutrition was founded by a guy named Tom Bilyeu. Tom Bilyeu has spoken on our stage at the Capitalism Conference, which is a, an event that we do every year. And what they did is they had a Facebook group that they use as their testing grounds. So they took the, the, the Quest Bar, which is I think the best selling protein bar ever. They've done like a billion dollars in sales in five years, which is nuts. They're the number, I think they're the number one, they might be the number one product on Amazon.com, like they'd sell a ridiculous amount. But anyway, so Tom Bilyeu has a, a small group, like a test group that he releases some products to, starts releasing three to five products to a very small audience. And what they do at that point is they start taking their profit margins and advertising to new people with their mission and their message and what they're about. And they keep releasing new products. So what you'll see now is they have chips and they have protein powder and they have desserts and they have all kinds of things now that are made to continue building up that product line, which is they can do now because they've got tons and tons of buyers. When you're starting out, you usually don't have a ton of buyers. If you do, it makes it really fast. So if you have a blog or a podcast or any following releasing million dollar brands, releasing three to five products to that following, really fast and easy. So call me if that is you. But for most people, we're releasing three to five products to a very target market, and then we're using the profit from that to start advertising to the audience, and then we release additional products. And this is when the snowball really starts to pick up. This is when we can go from one million to three million to five million to seven million, and this is where you can really, really scale your business quickly. This is, so a lot of businesses, I work with a lot of students who hit the million dollar mark, and they're like, it worked, I can't believe it, like I have a million dollar business, this is amazing, what do I do now? And I spend the next year, the next 12 months, telling them, you need to build an audience. What do I do now? You need to build an audience. What do I do now? You need to build an audience. And the question is, how do I build an audience? You build an audience by following up with your customers. You build an audience by putting content on Facebook and social media. You build an audience by advertising and building your email list. You build your audience by giving away free samples of your product and getting them into your email funnel. That's how you build an audience. You go after a bunch of different ways and see what hits. You release videos, you start an Instagram, you, you do all of these things and then you scale what hits because not all of the same types of audience building tactics are going to work for every business. For some people, it is very, they're very content heavy. Like you need to train your customer in order to get them to rally behind your business and your brand. So you're gonna be wanna be on YouTube and be doing blogging and podcasting, more long form content. For other people, it is all about before and after photos, like weight loss pills. There was a company called Shreds that did tens of millions of dollars just on Instagram because they were showing before and after photos and people in very little clothing that were very, very fit. So they built up this big Instagram following and then they were launching products 
to the Instagram following. Same exact model, the exact same model, but for them, the audience lived on Instagram and that's where they doubled down. For me, I do my best work with email lists. So I am usually putting in the profit and the energy into building up email lists and then I'm launching more and more products. So this is usually your second year in business which is going to take you to that multi-million dollar level. And when you've got 10,000 email lists, or email lists, we've got 10,000 email subscribers, or you've got 50,000 podcast downloads, or you've got a raving fan base, all of a sudden you've got security, you've got stability. So a lot of my students who are on amazon.com, they, like, they sit there and they're like, I'm selling a lot, but if Amazon makes a change, I'm screwed. Like if, if, if Amazon changes their algorithm or they get rid of my reviews or a new competitor comes in, what am I gonna do now? When you do this, you don't gotta worry about that because you've got buyers. So if Amazon makes a change, you sell more to your audience. This, this is the, the, the beauty of the second part of the process. The, the other side of this is when you get that right, it makes things like Amazon way easier. It makes funnels way easier. It makes retail way easier. For example, the reason why I was able to get to about a thousand retail stores across the United States is because I had this. Because I had done this right. I had done those two things right. And as a result, hundreds of retail stores wanted to carry us. Because we had proven the model on Amazon.com and because we had an audience that we could send into retail stores. So when you do these two pieces right, every other sales channel becomes easier. So I get asked by people, you know, I'm afraid Amazon's gonna change, I'm afraid a competitor's gonna come in and copy me, what do I do? Get these two things right. Target your person right, release good products to them, and build a freaking audience. And I mean, this is, this is as important to your business as this piece. And a lot of people are good at this and then they miss this. So this'll, this is the million dollar vision. This is your multi-million dollar business. Here's where we get to eight figures and up. Are you ready? You ready for this? Innovation. Innovation is very simply, what do you bring to the marketplace that's new? Now, here is the, dis the, the disclosure disclaimer. It doesn't need to be a brand new product. It just needs to be new enough. Chris, would you toss me uh, a jot that coffee back there? This is, one, this is one of my favorite examples right now, thank you. So I love finding examples of brands that do this well. This is a brand called Java Zen. It's coffee, all right? It's hard to differentiate coffee. Coffee is coffee is coffee is coffee. Hey, uh, Chris, would you toss me the other bag? That's, it's open, so be super careful with this one. Thank you. Ever heard of bulletproof coffee? Now look, these are, coffee's a huge market, right? Why is Java Zen super successful? And why is bulletproof coffee super successful? Well, bulletproof coffee was the first mold-free coffee. It actually wasn't but it was the first to say it was mold free. It was the first to double down on that's where we are going. That's where we are committing to is being mold free. What about Java Zen? Java Zen was the first to be infused coffee. So this is ground coffee with yerba mate and acai. There's another one back there that is goji berry and something else is their decaf blend. So. You don't, you don't have to like reinvent coffee. It just needs to be a new spin on it. So Bulletproof, let's reverse engineer here at this. Bulletproof had the audience, because Dave Asprey was a blogger, because Dave Asprey had a podcast, because he had an email list. He then released an innovative product, boom, and he went to eight figures like that. That is, that is this three-step pyramid to getting to eight figures. Now, we could do this all day long with the types of business that have gone to eight figures. Most of them finally pass 
when they are innovating on something, they're innovating on a marketing angle, they're innovate. Even this would be innovation because it's got a new spin in the marketplace. Most people are going out here and they're like, uh, let's see, I think there's money in spatulas, so that's kitchen products, that's moms, so I'm gonna sell spatulas, cookware, and uh, olive oil, right, it's just, cooking gear, and now we're gonna build an audience of moms so that I can release more products, that's all fine. That can get you to seven figures a lot of the time. It does not get you to eight figures. It does not get you to 10 million because there are a bunch of people who can nip at your heels at that. If there's no differentiation, if there's no innovation in the marketing, in the product, in something, it is very easy for someone to come and nip at your heels and it will keep you here. You'll be playing the review game. You'll be playing the what's my new traffic source game. Nobody wants to carry old, boring stuff. They wanna, they wanna look at new stuff. Retail stores wanna carry new stuff. And new is just a new way of doing things. It is a new type of coffee. If you go into any Whole Foods now, there are entire stacks committed to Bulletproof and all of their different products. And they're selling oils and they sell butter and they sell protein bars. It's like, was the world lacking new protein bars? No, but Bulletproof did it in a slightly different way that gave it enough innovation to release to the audience to add to their product line, which is why they're an eight figure company. That's how this model works. So at this point, when you do this model, this is when you have a company that can be sold for lots and lots and lots of money. Life-changing type of money. This is when you have built a real business, as when you have built an empire, because you are providing new value in the marketplace, you have a customer list that will buy from you, and you continue to add to the product line, which gives you the profit margins to continue this process, and now you have a scalable, sellable business. So if you have no business at all, and you're just getting started, you need to focus for the next 12 months on releasing three to five products, unless you've got an audience or you've got an innovative product. If you're sitting on a product like, hey, I got the next Java Zen, what do I do now? The thing you do now is you release it to an audience and you build a scalable model of selling out of that product and then you release product two, product three, product four, and you'll have that audience start to rally behind you and you keep releasing innovative products. That's your model from there. So if, you are, if you're here, if you've got an audience, your job is to release products to them as quickly as possible. Three to five over the next 12 months will get you to a million dollars. That's how we get to seven figures, it's how we scale to eight, and it's how we build impactful companies. If you need help with this, regardless of where you are in this process, around this video, you'll find uh, applications to work with me or applications to work with us. If you're sitting on an audience, I, I, like, I wanna work with you because I can turn that into seven figures really quickly. If you've got a seven figure business, we know what levers to pull to get you to eight. If you've got an innovative product and you're not sure how to bring it to the marketplace, we can show you how to do that. And if you're already doing all of this well, we can help you position to sale for a really big payday. We can position you for sale to a big private equity group or a competitor who wants to buy you up and pay way too much money so that you can live the type of lifestyle that you want, which is exactly what we're trying to do out of all of this. So if you wanna do this, we can help and you can find resources around this video. Hey, I would love to see your thoughts and your feedback in the comments, so leave them around this video and you can start taking action on building out this model by clicking the links around this video. Thanks for watching. Share this with an entrepreneur who wants to build a business and isn't sure how to either get past seven figures or they've hit a plateau and they're not sure how to go to eight because we can help them do that. We've done it for hundreds of students and uh, we want more success stories at capitalism.com. So share this with them and thanks for watching. This coffee smells delicious.